Welcome, this is a quick tutorial on how to create a multi-track project in Audacity that consists of a voiceover track and music tracks. And the purpose of this would be to create, say, a audio-based lesson or even a test that you could share with your students. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the voiceover track and then I'm going to import the music tracks and then we'll arrange everything and then export it to an mp3 file. All right, so this lesson is, well, actually I'm just gonna do it and if I need to, I'll re-record any parts that need re-recording. Here's my voiceover. Hey everybody, welcome to this online lesson. You know, we were talking about different genres of music in class. This is a little preview of what we're gonna be exploring tomorrow. And this includes two styles that we think of as South American or Central American music, salsa music and samba music. So the first example is salsa music and salsa is from the Caribbean, mostly from Cuba, also Puerto Rico. So this is an example and you'll hear instruments like the conga drums, the cowbell and the bongos. So listen to this example and listen for those instruments. Okay, and the next example is samba music. Samba music is from Brazil in South America on the eastern side. And every year, samba bands play in a big festival in Rio de Janeiro called Carnival. And this is a specific type of samba music called batucada, which is made up of all drums and percussion. So listen for the instruments like the shaker, the caixa or snare drum, and the tamborim, the little drum that I demonstrated to you guys before. So listen for those instruments. This is samba music. Okay, that's it, you guys. So now you've heard salsa music from Cuba, samba music from Brazil, and listen to them again if you need to because we might do a little audio test tomorrow to see if you can recognize these two popular styles of music. Okay, so I've got my three sections of audio. And what I'm gonna do now is split them using uh, the, the tool. I'm just gonna place this here and split that. I'm pressing um, the command I key or Apple I key if you want to um, split it using the, let's see, I have to see where it is. Uh, if you want to use it <laughs> splitting, you have to go to clip boundaries and then split there and that'll do the same thing. And then what that allows me to do is use this tool to then grab and slide the audio because of course we need space to play our music track. So I need about, I wanna have about 15 to 20 seconds of space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look ahead here. I'm gonna put this ending music about at the two minute mark, which I think it's about there right now. Yeah, there's two minutes. So I'm gonna put my talking ending at two minutes. And then this starts at about one minute and 40 seconds, so one minute, 25. Yeah, this looks pretty good. This gap here looks pretty good. Maybe I'll just move that to keep them even. So these are gonna be short examples, but of course you can play around with all this uh, and edit it as needed. I'm gonna just trim. Oh, uh, now that shifts everything over, so I'll have to move everything back. Uh, I'm just gonna trim these up. And let's place these back at ending at two minutes and then we'll just put this right in the middle with even space okay so this is my voiceover track um, i can check it audio test tomorrow to see if you can recognize and the level looks great okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to file and import audio and i'm going to grab a couple mp3 files that i saved just for this the first uh well i've got samba and salsa right here on my desktop. So I'm going to open them. And this will quickly import them into Audacity. And it's gonna give them their own track. 
and that's a stereo track and a stereo track. My voiceover, of course, is mono. So now I've got all this music. Well, I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking for the perfect section, but what I am going to do is I'm just going to grab, let's see, I'm going to grab a segment. I'm going to basically shave these down and edit them because I just need a little bit. And let's go ahead and grab, I don't know, let's grab the middle part of this. Like I said, I'm not really auditioning these, um, but I am, what I'm, what I'm going to do is leave a little bit of the Samba extra, and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so let's look at what we have. So here's my introduction. Now, to slide the audio around, you need to press this icon up here. I'm going to grab my Salsa track and slide it up here. And I can listen to it. Sounds good. Okay, so I think what I'll do is cut this off. And we're going to use this um, for the salsa example. And then I have my samba example down here. I'm going to put that in like this. All right. So let's go with the samba example or the sorry the salsa example first what i'll do is zoom in a little bit here so we can see what we're doing and what i'm going to do is show you two ways to um, manage your audio and that's a fade in and fade out so the the first way i'm just going to trim that the first way is going to be to just do a fade in like this highlight the audio and go up to effect and fade in. And you'll see right here that that just changed this. So this ramps up. So now when I'm playing my voiceover, it, it'll fade up into the music and the bongos. So listen to this example and listen for those instruments. Okay, so I heard that that was a little loud. Uh, so I'm going to slide this over a little bit and we'll just use that as an example. But, but what I really like to use and what gives you more flexibility is this tool. And this is, gives you these handles that you can um, apply and it makes it kind of squishy. And you can do things like this, lower the volume. So I'm, I know I'm going to be talking right here, so I'm going to lower that volume and then I'm going to put a handle out here and fade this out completely under my talking. This probably needs to come down a little bit. But the point is you can, you can move this around. You can change it after the fact. The fade in, fade out, once that's done, you're kind of stuck with that. But listen to this, this effect. Okay, and the next example is Samba music. So I have that nice fade. Samba music is from. So I'm going to leave that and move on. We're going to slide down to the Samba music. And what I've got here is a little opportunity to use that tool again over here. And this time I can fade it in a little more slowly. And then it'll be at full volume let's say right there. Okay, so I can just check that before. So listen for those instruments. This is Samba music. Okay, awesome. Now for the fancy ending, what I'm going to do is, you probably can guess what I'm going to do here. I am going to leave the music playing I'm going to fade it down. I'm going to leave it playing under my talking and see how that goes. And see how easy that was? Just takes a second. Okay, that's it, you guys. So now you've heard salsa music from Cuba, samba music from Brazil. And listen to them again if you need to, because we might do a little audio test tomorrow to see if you can recognize these two popular styles of music. All right, so that's sounding pretty good. Let's do one more thing to my 
voiceover track, and that is just give it a little more presence with a little zap of the compressor. So I'm hitting everything 14 dB and, and below is my threshold. Um, three to one compression ratio. So just going to hit that. And that is going to boost up my voiceover track to give it a little more presence. So let's give this whole thing a listen and then we'll look at an output. Hey everybody, welcome to this online lesson. You know, we were talking about different genres of music in class. This is a little preview of what we're gonna be exploring tomorrow. And this includes two styles that we think of as South American or Central American music, salsa music and samba music. So the first example is salsa music and salsa is from the Caribbean, mostly from Cuba, also Puerto Rico. So this is an example, and you'll hear instruments like the conga drums, the cowbell, and the bongos. So listen to this example, and listen for those instruments. Okay, and the next example is samba music. Samba music is from Brazil in South America on the eastern side. And every year, samba bands play in a big festival in Rio de Janeiro called Carnival. And this is a specific type of samba music called batucada, which is made up of all drums and percussion. So listen for the instruments like the shaker, the caixa or snare drum, and the tamborim, the little drum that I demonstrated to you guys before. So listen for those instruments. This is samba music. Okay, that's it, you guys. So now you've heard salsa music from Cuba, samba music from Brazil, and listen to them again if you need to because we might do a little audio test tomorrow to see if you can recognize these two popular styles of music. Okay, so that's sounding pretty good. Now, just a couple little finishing touches. Um, I'm going to go to, well, let's see, the beginning here. I'm just going to do a quick fade in so we don't have any beginning jump from silence to that Sometimes there's a little background hiss, you know, when you record your tracks. I'm going to do the same thing over here, just a quick fade out. And then we'll be ready to export. So all you need to do, oh, also, I'm just going to just hit the view and I can collapse all tracks. It makes it easy to see. I'm going to select, select all. And then I'm going to go to File, Export Audio. And I'm going to title this Genre Test or whatever I want. I'm going to save it to my desktop as an MP3 file as, at 192 kilobits per second, which is fine, good quality. And I'm just going to hit Save. Tracks will be mixed down to two stereo channels in the exported file. So that's fine. Yeah. And I can put in these this information. I'm just going to skip that for now. And there it goes. This is a two minute file, so it doesn't take too long. And now I've got the genre test MP3 file right here. I can even import it i think i could if i wanted to i could grab it and well let's just do it let's import that audio back into audacity and then what i'll do is i will solo it and we can play it right in audacity hey everybody welcome to this online lesson you know we were talking about different Skip genres ahead. of sample and listen for those instruments So as my mix, I'm going to be looking for the level up here. 
I'm going to be checking my levels. This looks pretty good. I could probably add a little bit of mastering to this, uh, but we'll get to mastering in another lesson. So this is my finished product. Three tracks, a vocal track and two audio tracks now mixed down um, into one track that I can now share. Okay, if you have any questions about this, you know how to contact me and uh, enjoy using Audacity and creating lessons for your students.